Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you episode 59 of Modern Skyblock 3 Departed, a mod pack by Gamer. So, in the last episode, I told you guys that doing embers and power of the stars together was not doing justice to both mod pack, and I really wanted to get a chance to complete this. So, I'm concentrating on power of the stars, and as you can see, I have my brand new iridescent altar right here. That setup was already made here, the start in future, but I made this beautiful, big, big altar for attunement. I just don't know yet if it's good or not, but we're going to be able to continue this today. So first of all, I'm going to take a quick job downstairs and I'm what I need to get is, um, sorry, I need to get huh some way of expressing myself sorry i want to start more iron ore because the next step is going to require a lot of it <clears throat> and as you see there's still some here possibly to be made but i kind of ran out of stone and it stopped producing so quick easy solution i'm just going to grab a couple of stack of stone and i'm going to restart this production asap because we need some more um What's it? I don't remember the name anymore. The uh, star one, the... I don't even have any on me. So let's go back upstairs and let's go and look at what we need. <clears throat> Basically, we need to make more of these. Because when we make more of these, we can break them down into... Um, this, Stardust, which is what we need a lot of. So I'm going to wait for some more iron, but while we're waiting... I'm going to start looking at the next quest. So the next quest that we have to do is containment chalice. The containment chalice can be filled up with liquid starlight and it will be used instead of the blocks in the starlight infusion structure. There are two next to one another with fluids that can react with each other. For example, water and lava. They will generate the block that be created when they are touching as a dropped item. So basically, if we put a containment chalice here and we fill it with some starlight liquid then instead of using this like you see this is empty so if i wanted to attune uh, not to tune sorry if i wanted to infuse something else i would have to come here grab a bucket come back here find which corner is not filled and fill it like this which is really a problem because it's just too complicated for nothing so let's look at the chalice chalice so the containment chalice are made with four gold two star metal ingot and a sooty marble and two resonating gem let's just see what we have right now right now we have not a single resonating gem so i want to make six resonating gem and i want to get some star metal ingot which means i'm going to need that so let's go downstairs Let's grab the gold. We're going to need... How many gold was it again? It was... Huh, one, two, three, four. So I'm going to need... I want to make three. Twelve. And I'm going to go back upstairs because I obviously forgot something important. And the important thing that I forgot is that for the next crafting, we really need the standard aquamarine. So let's just come right here. And we're going to have a very scary job right now. And fly, and I want to transform all of this aquamarine into the aquamarine that it's expecting. And now we're ready to go. And I'm hoping to get this done ASAP. Oh, I need the star metal ingot. And I'm hoping to get this done ASAP because a containment chalice pretty much needs to be done in the night where we have full power. So molten astral metal, five ingot. We're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six. And I have one. So I should be good. So let's do that. So one. Two, uh, three, that's a bit slow, four, no, that's going to be the fifth one, and that's going to be the sixth one, and we should be good to go. Perfect. So let's go back up here. Now we need to infuse six of the gems, which means we're probably going to need a lot of bucket stuff so let's just grab some buckets and 
I don't even have my rod on me. So where is my resonating wand? Start this. Oh, yeah, it started. And while it's working, let's just grab two buckets because I feel like I'm going to end up needing it. And we're just waiting for this to finish. Perfect. Let's start the next one. And still none of the blocks have been consumed. That's going to be two. Where are my relays? I'm going to need my relays. The five relays that we made. Perfect. That's going to be the third one. We still need how many? We still need... We need six. So I'm just looking around to see if any blocks been consumed. Nope. Let's start the next one. It's going to be four. Ah, hopefully it's still going to be night enough. It's kind of worrying because that's the problem with Power of the Stars. It's a great mod. It's interesting. But you know what that mod's missing? Absolutely 100% missing. It's missing. Huh. There is one missing bucket somewhere. So we have to find where. Ah, it's missing here. And I just lost a bucket. So that's not great. Let's just go grab two more buckets. By mistake, I grabbed the wrong bucket when I wanted to empty. Because when in Minecraft, when you put liquid over liquid, what does it do? It destroys the liquid that you're putting on top of. So that wasn't planned. And we're... Oh, no. Okay, I was going to say we're missing another one. So sorry. So the next part is going to need a lot of prepping that we can do during day. But what's this pack is missing is something to be able to craft multiple uh, to skip day so containment chalice we need gold 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 sooty marble i need some sooty marble let's go grab three sooty marble and hopefully there's still going to be enough day uh, to uh, enough night i mean to do all of this uh, in time perfect so quickly i'm trying to hurry up here we need three sooty marble here, one, two, three. We need one, two, three, and three here. No, three at the top. We need half, 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 and half. And we need half and half. Perfect. Now, if you remember, the spectral relay, the quest wanted us to make four. And I made five because I saw that we had to do the attunement altar later and we would need a one for here. So I'm like, four plus one is five. But I'm really glad I did that because the way this works is that if you look at the recipe, it requests five extra item. And the way this works is that you need to put these spectral relay down and you can put them anywhere. So the easiest is put the five in a row. And then with the resonating one, we start this. And the recipe starts and then some part, see, it's requesting a gem here. So we put one in. And it, the con recipe continue. Then it's ask a second one. We put it in. Then it's going to ask for a third one. Right here. And we put it in. And it's kind of random where it's going to request it. Then it's going to ask for a fourth one. And finally it's going to ask for a fifth one. And that's going to complete the recipe. And we're going to get one containment chalice. It's a long recipe. And you have to do it at the height of night. Because if you wait too long then there's not enough night. While we're doing that, let's just get rid of the stupid death marker. Ooh. We have one, and now we have two more to make. So let's start the next one. And while we're waiting, let's come right here and remove that stupid death marker. So we need to put this here. I'm going to put all five in, and when the fifth one is in, I'm going to claim the quest. So that's done, and we can start looking at the next quest. Another one here. Another one here. I don't need three. I only really need one. The reason I made three is that I want to experiment with this. I want to put one in there so that I never run out of starlight. And I want to use two to show you the crafting principle. It's really cool. It's cool, but in all honesty, it's useless because it's really lame. Remember my setup that I made where in my setup I have... Uh, wa uh, not water. I have lava and starlight and the two are making sand well it's not using either the lava nor the, the the water but when you use two containment chalice it uses a very small portion but it does use a portion 
in all honesty, it's more natural. It makes way more sense to me. But if you have the free option and the option that does cost something, the Minecrafter in you should be yelling, use the free option. It's the best one. Because we like free option in Minecraft. Every resource that you have to fight for is a problem. So now that we have our three containment chalice, I want to put one right here for sure. And we're going to fill it as much as possible so that the next time that we do infusion, it doesn't use my bucket on the ground. And this is so cool. Look at this. When you put a bucket in, it makes a little square here and it makes those particle. And then two, three, four. Okay, so four is not enough for it to grow. But as you put more, it starts growing. So let's just put some more. See, it grew a little bit. And that's what it does. It just, it goes on and grows and grows and grows up till you get to the max, which is 24 bucket. Oh, that, that's a bigger one. And considering that we have, what, 126 bucket here, I don't mind put it, filling it just because I want you guys to see the max filled, uh, max filled event. So let's grab some more buckets. And I don't know, I didn't count. How much did it say it was at? Ooh, look at this big ball of, well, this big ball. I mean, this big square of starlight. I think that's going to be the last ones I can put in. And you're approaching, or, oh, when you hold shift, it tells you 21, 22, 23, 24, and that's the maximum. So this one is completely full. Now, if I take these two and I put one here and one here, and now I'm going to go, oh, two, three, four, one, two, three, oh, really? You're just making it difficult for me. One, two, three, four. Really no point putting more than that because it's not like I'm going to use it. I'm going to come down here and grab some water. Not some lava because we already have a lava set up. Perfect. Let's go back upstairs. I just want to show you what it looks like because it's a cool effect. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to go and fill this one with water. And what happens is the particles are going to start going toward each other. And see, ice. Because water and um, starlight makes ice. And see, it's using little quantities and it drops them in the world. So if I was to turn this on, every time it produces one, it gives it to me. We're going to let that continue and we're going to look at the next quest. I just wanted to show you the setup because I think it's really cool. So the next quest is constellations. With the iridescent altar, you can make constellation papers if you haven't already obtained them all from loot back. So basically, if you remember my loot back setup downstairs, the uh, opener, this right here, the bag opener, if you put these small bags, I'm going to show you, I'm going to grab one small bag. It's not going to get me one, but I just want to show you. So if I look at, really, why can't I see the output? Loot bag. If I look at the output of a loot bag, there is a chance that it gives you here, a constellation paper. And I didn't even have time to see it. So let's open one. And of course not, we didn't get a constellation paper, but it doesn't really matter. I just wanted to show you that you could get one. It really didn't matter that we get one. And these are already completed because I cheated. I went in and Moan and I give themselves those to me. No, not really. I already have them because as we were killing mobs and opening loot bag, if I come in here and I start looking into here, const, hello. Ah, oh, I completely forgot that it hates this interface. Constellation, see it does, uh, it hates this interface. So here's one, the Armora. Here's one, the Evorzio. And there's one here, the Aevitas, the Vicio. And I'm just trying to quickly go through. I think that's the only one that we have because we had four. And I never emptied this, I completely forgot. I'm gonna have to do it soon, especially considering that UU Matter is gonna want a lot of archaic brick. I'm going to have to set that up at some point. It's just honestly not one of my priority right now. 
So let's go through this quickly. And so that's it. Those are the only one that we have. And to be fair, if I look at the quest, one, two, three, four, oh, five. So I missed one. Oh, I missed the Decidia, I think. Visio, Armora, Ervorzio, Evitas. I'm going to take, well, strike here, Decidia. So these are the four that I have. So when I look here, uh, I have, this is an empty one. This is the Decidia that I have, the Armora that I have, the Visio that I have, the Aevitas that I have, and the Evorzio. So you have the one, two, three, four, five first one. But then we need to make the Lucerna. When I click on the Lucerna, it says I can get it from a loot bag, or it says using an iridescent altar, this is the recipe. So now I need to craft one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and the way this work all 11 of them needs a parchment and two stardust so we need 22 stardust which we have so let's go upstairs and let's just make some place in our inventory because now we're going to have to grab everything that we need because when night comes we have to be ready let's grab the astral tome because when you have the astral tome if you hit shift and right click it opens this and this is a place to store all of your constellation paper. So let me go in here and I'm going to go on the next page and I'm going to put everything that I don't need in the next page. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to keep really get rid of almost everything. I'm going to come back on the first page and we're going to need 22 of those. Not 24, 22. 22 and we're going to need 11 parchment paper so 4 8 19 11 that's going to be perfect how do we make the parchment paper again we need two aquamarine and eight paper so let's go downstairs oh we already have ah no i don't have the aquamarine on me but it's not a problem so i'm gonna need eight paper one two three four five six seven eight and for the aquamarine we're gonna get it when we go back upstairs so now let's look at the lucerna for Lucerna, we're going to need one, two, three, four, five flint. So let's grab the flint. One, two, three, four, five flint. Then Lucerna, oh, sorry, Lucerna, we're going to need black, feather, arrow, redstone, iron. Iron, redstone, black, Arrow and uh, feather. Ooh, I have two redstone. It doesn't really matter. Maybe there's another one that's going to need one. And also, okay, so that's the around. So that I have everything for this one. Then, mineralis. Wait, what's the difference? Hello? How are they always this? Ah, uh, no, I completely forgot that they all come up to the same first one. So I grabbed all of the raw material. Okay, let's restart. I still need the eight paper. Where's my papa? Eight paper, perfect. So now let's try this again, but let's grab the right one. So. Aivitas we have, Evorzio we have, Lucerna. So Lucerna is one, two, three, four. Let me just check. Always a feather and always the black. So it always requires the feather and the black. So I'm going to need eight fe uh, 11 feather and 11 black. So let's just grab the 11 black right now. And let's just grab the 11 feather oh, right here. No, I put them all back in. Perfect. And now let's try this again. So this one is Lucerna. Lucerna requires four, five glowstone, redstone, torch, and coal. Five glowstone. One, two, three, four, five. One coal, one redstone, and one torch. I have torch there upstairs. So that should be good for the Lucerna. Yeah, perfect. So then the next one is Mineralis. It needs one, two, three, four, five iron ore 
an iron, another redstone, and, an and a gold. So another redstone, a gold, an iron, one iron, and five iron this way, iron ore. Wow, I already have 64. So I want to take those to be able to transform them if I need to. But that's two. So the next one is ooh, four extra stardust, five extra stardust. Good thing that we have them upstairs. Five extra stardust and a diamond, a pearl, a mana pearl, uh, not a mana pearl, an ender pearl, and a clock. So that's going to be one, one, two, three, four. Let's just make the clock immediately because I want to have what I need. So one, two, three, four. And this, which gives me a clock. And the four stardust I have upstairs. And I need a ender pearl and a stupid double clicking. So next one is, uh, there's no point doing that. I just need to get to the next one. Next one is five fish, a clay, a blue, and a fishing rod. Five fish. Oh, please tell me I have five. Oh, yes. Five fish, a clay, a blue, which lapis is blue, and a fishing rod. So fishing rod is three and two, if I remember. One, two. Oh, I took three and three. Worst case scenario, it's not three stick, it's two, and it's one straight. Oh, so that's the right recipe. Let's just get rid of that. But that's the next one. So that one also is done. Yes. Next one is five wheat, apple, hide, and skeleton, hide, apple, Urgh, two. Like, there's always one that's going to be two. And now I need five wheat. One, two, really? None, none left. That's not a problem. I have this great field here where I can get whatever I want from. And I got 64 and five. It couldn't be more perfect than that. Next constellation paper. You know what? I might run out of inventory space, which is not something I thought. So now I'm gonna need five coal, an iron, a redstone, and a gunpowder. So gunpowder, oh, gunpowder, redstone, and five coal. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. That's another one done. Well, it's not crafted, so I say done, but I mean, it's another one that I've gathered the material for. So the next step is five flesh, a second apple, an egg, and a blaze powder. Blaze powder, one, two, three, four, five. Was it five? No, it was five flesh. One, two, three, four, five. So now I have too much gunpowder, but honestly, at this point, I really don't care. I'm going to put it back afterward. So that's five flesh. I need another apple and an, uh, an egg. So apple. And let me go grab some eggs because eggs are not a problem. And I'm going to look at the chicken later. So and an egg. I'm really running out of space. So let's look at the next one quickly. And it's going to be night. So I might as well start going to craft some. So now I'm going to need an extra feather, a quartz. Oh, I got ice. So feather, quartz, and five snowball. I don't know if I have any snowball ready. Do I have any snowball right here? Well, I'm going to need an extra feather. And what were the other one? Feather. Urgh. I don't remember the rest. Feather, a quartz, and five snowball. So a quartz and five snowball. So let's come back here. Let's just grab five snowball from clicking this. So ship one, oh, one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. And I'm running clearly out of space. So let's look if I can even grab the material for one last one. That one's expensive. So another leather, another diamond, and a blaze rod. So another leather, another leather, a blaze rod, and I completely derp on remembering the last, the third one, and another diamond. 
that's two diamond and let's just look I don't know that I can get the material for another one but let's just try quickly uh, so no there's no way so let's go start crafting some of those and I'm really happy I made more start I made more ore because I'm gonna need a lot more so we needed five more of these like so and we needed what was it we needed one ice so let's grab one ice so now that we have all of this let's come right here and make the first constellation paper which was the uh, this one the Lucerna so we need four glowstone oh I need to make the parchment paper first so let's make the parchment paper like this and forgot to grab some aquamarine let's go and grab all of my aquamarine how do I wow okay I completely forgot the ice is still being crafted here so I grabbed 64 something ice okay so that's going to be two aquamarine that's going to give me all of the <sighs> yep I derped another thing I still need my rod without this rod I can't make anything so let's put this right here right now because I don't really need a thing of magnetization and that's my 11 crafting paper okay so now we can put some things in regularly 11 here 11 here 11 here and 11 here and 11 here so that's the standard basic setup now adding the rest around the first one we want to make is four glowstone so one two three four and let's get that started we're gonna need the glowstone glowstone what's the next thing it's going to request the torch I don't know if I can miss my crafting if I'm not ready that's one thing I didn't think of. A torch. What's the next one? Redstone. What's the next one? Coal. And the... F oh, it's only four. It's not five. So it shouldn't be a problem. So this should be it. And I can already look at the next one. And the next one is going to be the iron ore. Ooh, I might not be able to make all of them in one night. So that's a new one. And now iron ore. Just trying to hurry this up because this is going to take a while, I think. Iron ore. What's the next step that it wants? Gold ore right here. What's the next one? Oh, iron ore. And the final one is redstone. Perfect. I'm going to look at the next one immediately so that I'm ready. The next one is stardust ender pearl diamond. Stardust ender pearl diamond and the clock. So let's grab this one and let's go for stardust around like this start it up and now we have everything in our hand right that's that's way better as a way of doing this so this what's the next one diamond maybe ender pearl yes and then it's going to be the clock because it's the only one that's left perfect and while we're here let's shift right click and put the lucerna and the mineralis in here and look at the next one so the next one is going to be the fish clay fishing rod fish clay fishing rod and voila that's another one so fish one two three four let's get that one started asap so is there a particular order I think oh, fish it's always the first one so it's gonna be clay next then lapis oh no wrong side so then lapis or I have no idea 
He has Lapis, and then the last one's gonna be Clay. Let's get it done. Perfect. So let's look at the next one. The next one is Wheat Leather Apple Bone. Wheat Leather Apple Bone. Wheat Leather Apple Bone. Perfect. I have everything that I need. Uh, I have to try and keep this under 10 minutes, but I don't know if that's going to be possible. There's so much crafting to do. So let's get this this one done. It's going to be wheat first. Bone next? Come on, bone. Yes! Okay, so it's from left to right, I guess. Leather or apple? I don't remember. Apple. And the last one's going to be leather. Let's go. Perfect. So next one, next one is coal gunpowder, coal gunpowder, what a what a and what a what a? Did I miss? I, I think I'm missing one part. So it's coal gunpowder, redstone and iron ore. Yes, I'm missing one iron ore. So coal. Coal. I need one iron ore quickly. Oh, this is. It's going to be day again. No. Redstone. What's the next one? Iron ore. And it's going to be the gunpowder last. Gunpowder. Can I do the next one? So what else? What's the next one? Flesh, blaze, apple, egg. Flesh, blaze, apple, egg. Perfect. So flesh. Two, three, four. Flesh, blaze powder, come on, blaze powder, apple, egg, or egg, apple. Which one comes first? Apple, and now egg. And what's the next one? Maybe I can do those in the day. I thought these only had, could only be done at night. So, snowball, ice, feather, snowball, Ice, feather, nether quartz. Snowball, one, two, three, four, and you can see the meter running out. What do you mean completed? I don't need all of them? Wow, I got lucky. I don't need all of them. And it was just enough to finish this. You know what? I might make those in a later time if I want to. But if I don't have to, I'm not going to make those for now. Because it's now day and it's time for the next part. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's just refill that. It's a good thing also because I couldn't make any more. I was stuck waiting for night. Now that we're night. Wow, 30 more ice. This is kind of crazy. So this is how much ice I've made. Wait, let me grab the next one. I just want to show you. So I basically made from four bucket of water and eight bucket of starlight. I made six, 128, 148, 155 ice. Like this is crazy ridiculous. It's much better than I thought. And the weird thing is all of the starlight is gone, but not all of the water. So it's a recipe thing. So let's claim this chest, uh, this chest, this, this loot, and go for the next one. So looking for stars. With a telescope, you can find stars in the skies and draw out the constellation on the paper. So we need to make a looking glass and a telescope. So looking glass is made how? The looking glass is made with a glass lens. Gold, you know what? Material, 
Oh, I guess I've already opened this loot bag. I tried to open the loot bag at the end, but you know what? Sometimes you screw up and you open them sooner. So I'm going to need a gold. I'm going to need some glass pane. No more glass panes. I'm going to have to make more right here. Glass paint. Oh, 16 glass pane. And this goes up here. The reason I wasn't able to put it is that this is full. So I have to show it in the next one. Sorry. Perfect. So looking glass, the looking glass, we need a glass lens, four stick and a wood. So four stick, three, four and a wood. Not here, a wood right here. So let's grab a wood from this. Not two, one. One glass pane, four sticks, a gold. And the telescope is used to make the... Uh, the telescope is made from the looking glass with two gold, three more stick, and another wood. You know what? I needed another wood. Three more sticks. So one, two, three. Uh, two gold. One, two. So this should be enough. Let's go see if we can enchant... Uh, a tune, no, um, infuse, sorry, the glass pane. So let's do that. And this is 40, 24.0 and it transform and it's still 24.0 because it's always a chance of, it's not guaranteed. I don't know if I can make the looking glass. So let's just go try it. Maybe it's one of those things that doesn't require a lot. So one, one, two, three, four and a wood and the glass lens and let's just try it yes it's one recipe okay that was way simpler than i thought and now it's going to be one one two one two three and a wood also one we can make during the day good things that i linked all of these gems because it makes it easier so now we have looking for stars so the way the telescope work, you know what? Uh, I'm going to, can I put it on top here? Yes, I can. Oh, this is cool. Look at this. I never intended to be this cool, but it's really cool. So basically, oh, when you go next to the telescope, you can right click and it gives you a view of the star and you can just sit next, next, next. And you see the telescope turning in the background. Just look at this part here. Now it's here. Now it's here and it lets you look at each side of the sky and that's how you would see the constellation and we haven't found any constellation yet so none are drawn in the skies but once you've seen one and you've drawn it it's written in the sky. So we're done with this quest don't know if we're going to go much further with this but we can go to the next part. Attunement. The attunement altar allows you to attune yourself or rock slash lesser crystal with certain constellations. So we want to make an attunement crystal. Attunement. Attunement. Altar right here. So we need four rune marble. We need some star metal ingot. We need a spectral relay. How did we make the spectral relay first? Spectral relay is a glass and marble and gold nuggets. I want to keep the five. You know what? Spectral relay. I'm going to need a couple of those. I think I'm going to make a couple. So let's just start that. And let's just come down here and let's make some star metal. I completely forgot to grab any star metal. That is so derpy of me. So let's come right here and we're going to make six. So let's come back down here and let's throw all of these six in here. And is the glass at the bottom? Yeah, the liquid glass is at the bottom. Let's just extract all of these. I should probably put a, what's it called? A hopper to empty the smart output. That would probably be smarter. I just never really think about it. So now let's stop this. Let's switch over to the astral metal ingot. Let's grab the six and then we'll go back upstairs. That's going to be two, three, that's taking a little while for five and six. I just want to check something quickly with you guys. So if I look at my astral tome and I look, go at constellation. So this one is three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this one is three, four, five, six, seven. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so the biggest one is eight, and we already have one of these going on. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna keep eight on me, and I'm gonna make nine. Nine so that I can use one in my crafting and so one in my crafting and the other one I need for the attunement. Although I don't know I'm going to use them. If I'm at it, I might as well. So I'm going to need 16 gold nugget. No, not 16. Uh, nine times tw two is 18. So I need 18. What else do I need in a spectral relay? I need 18 plank and 18 marble. The ar 18 marble is not a problem. So 16, 18. Perfect. Let's go back upstairs. We're going to need nine marbles. This is done. Good thing it doesn't despawn. Put this here to the next one. Grab the marble. So that's going to be nine marble. Nine. Perfect. Let's go back here. Put this one on and resonate it. I'm just going to be making those. So let's, this one, and it uses this liquid. Has it gone down? Yes, 23.2. So it uses less than a bucket. So it's much better having the chalice than having something else because usually it takes a whole one bucket. Whereas now it's slowly taking some of this, but not at the same level. See, 22.8. We only used 1.2 bucket to make at least like seven... Oh, wait. Okay, eight and nine. I was like, how can I only have eight? I'm sure I was making nine. Perfect. So now let's go on the other side on this altar. And now let's make the next step. Like this and like this. This is not something that costs a lot. Yeah, so we can make all of these. Perfect. So now for the attunement altar. For the attunement altar, we need one of these here. We need one each side like so. We need four rune marble and two aquamarine. Four rune marble. So let's grab one, two, three, four. A rock crystal. What? I don't want you there. Sorry. So, and the chisel. So four rune marble, a rock crystal. And what was the other thing? The aquamarine. I need the aquamarine right here. So one, two. So let's go make that right now. I don't think I'm going to be able to craft that one, to be honest. I think this one's going to require a lot more stuff. So those two right here, the rock crystal right here, and the four rune marble. Oh, I haven't made the rune marble. So that's four rune marble. That goes one, two, three, four. And let's See, no, it doesn't have enough power or it's not the middle of the night. Does it even recognize it? It doesn't. Attunement altar. So rock crystal, aquamarine, rock crystal, aquamarine, and then the two star metal ingot, and then the four rune and the spectral relay. So everything's there. It, it has to be a question of how night it is. Urgh. Can I look at the next part? No, not this. The next quest. The next quest is the astral ritual. So I guess I still have to wait a little bit. Let's grab those while we're at it in case we need some more. Uh, all of this. What time is it? It's still 19. It's still 7 o'clock at night. So that's why it's not really late right now. So let's grab this. Oh. And seven more here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's eight. Let's fill this. And we're going to try it again in a moment. Perfect. So let's go back here. And voila. Now it's night enough for this to craft. And it's ready. So that's another quest done. If it recognized, let's grab this loot chest. And back. And now look at this. So... The attunement altar. 
How do you know that it's well made? First of all, this is the center. Put it in the center. And now look at the black surface. Do you see the little white particle like this? It means that the altar is attuned. It means that we are able to use this altar. So this is perfect and we can start using it if we want to. Uh, we're not going to use it in this episode because my goal right now is to finish this quest line. We might use it while we're waiting for something else in another quest line, but not in this one. So Astral Rituals. If you want Area of Effect Attunement perks to be active without you being there, you can put an Attuned Rock slash Celestial Crystal on a Ritual Pedestal with its multi-block setup. Put a Ritual Anchor three blocks above it and one where you can the effect to happen, where you want the effect to happen, and link them together. You can enhance the effect by connecting a floating crystal to the pedestal, <gasps> sorry, and then putting lenses where green sparkles form. So we need a ritual pedestal, ritual pedestal, which is marble, 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 and two gold. And let's just look at the two anchor right now. Anchor, just in case there are things that we need. Yeah, we need more gold. So we're going to need, okay, let's go downstairs because we need way too many material. And I'm hoping we can do it in time. So I'm going to need one, two, three, four gold. So one, two, three, no, one, two, three, three gold, because that makes two to each. I'm gonna need four gold nugget. Gold nuggets are here. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to need four pain and two glass lens. So that's six pain. Uh, let's get rid of this. Six. Oh, that's exactly what I have here. Perfect. Going to need a resonating gem and some stardust. That should be okay. And now ritual. Rit oh, ritual gives me everything. So I need two gold ingot and the rest is all things I have upstairs. I'm just trying to hurry because I don't, I want to be able to make it in this episode. I want to finish this quest line. Like I said, I might use it later, but right now my goal is really to finish this quest line so that we can progress with the pack. This is not the most fun mud ever. So let's do this, and we're going to need another one. And that's going to be it. Then we're going to need a ton of marble. No, it's getting to be day. I think I'm screwed. Let's just try it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need nine marble, so nine marble. And I need a bucket of liquid starlight, and I need a rock crystal. Oh, grab it. Perfect. Come back here. Bucket. Rock crystal. And then we need what? One, two, three, four pillar. And three rune. Four pillar. One, two, three, four. Four pillar. Three runed. Three runed. Where's the runed? No. Three runed. And I think that it's too chiseled. I'm not sure. Let's just. Yes, it's too chiseled. So it's going to be gold, gold, sorry, gold, gold, chiseled, chiseled, marbled, mar pillar, 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 and rune right here. <sighs> Will I do it on time? And the next one is going to be gold, gold. So that's one. Come on. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, one, two, and this. Uh, what is it? I'm missing one Stardust. One Stardust, please. Give me, give me more one Stardust. I feel like I'm racing against the clock here. One Stardust. Oh, yes. Episode achieved. Finishing the power of stars. And we did it in five quests in one episode. Oh, this feels so good. It's another quest line completed. Trophy room. The power of stars is completed. And let's grab this trophy right here. And let's put it down right here. Perfect. Wow, I'm happy about that. I'm... I'm kind of sad that I'm not using it more than that. Oh, the reason I made the spectral relay is that 
if I decided that I wanted to make an attunement here, I have to draw the thing. And you know what? Let's just take one quick look, see if we can do something about that. First, let's go into telescope. Oh. And let's look here. See these big things that are glowing? The big one, not the small one. There's one big, two big, three big, four big, five big, six big. So now, if I'm looking at the book, oh, at the book, and I'm at the book, I go to constellation. Does it look like six like that is the question? Uh, no, three, three, and one. Oh, sorry. So it doesn't look like this one. It looks it looks like the Visio. So let's try and draw the Visio. So the Visio is this one to the middle one. This one to here, this one to here, this one to here, the middle one to this one, and this one here. And yes, so we've discovered Visio. And now technically if we look in the sky, Guy? Oh yeah, you see it back there. So let's see if we can find another one. So here there are no big stars glowing. So there's no constellation here. Here we have some more. So we have one, two, three, four, oh wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, so that's the large one. So nine is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's one, two, three, four, five down the road, and then branch, 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 and branch. So one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five, and then it's branch, 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 and branch here. Haha, -ha, we got a Vitas. Let's look quickly. No big one here. No big one here, no big one here, no big one here, no big one here. So basically in our current night sky, and now we can't see them anymore because it's day, but in our current night sky, we could only see two and we've drawn two of them. So now if I go to constellation, I think that because we've drawn them, we could technically use them. I'm just really not sure of that. So. That's what you want to do technically. And you go every night and because if you know a little bit about astronomy, the way this works is all this planet. Please, can I go sleep in time to get rid of the rain? I don't want the frame rate drop. Please quickly. Oh, I'm so lucky. I'm just going to lose 15. It's going to go from 549 to six and I lost the rain. That's so lucky because this I checked and yeah, it dissipates for a while, but it does not get rid of. So you still need to sleep. So sorry, coming back here just to finish this episode, which is way too long. The telescope lets you detect, but the way astronomy works, the way the planet system work is that this planet is going around the sun, but the whole universe is also moving around. So the stars that we're seeing there in a couple of days might be different. So that's why if you want to discover all of the constellation, you basically have to come to the telescope every night and try to see if we can discover all of them. And then we could use one of them to attune ourselves. I might attune myself. I'm going to do a little bit of research because honestly, I think that the attunements, if I come here to uh, and I look at, oh, I think that's the difference. I didn't discover the city and the sky, so I don't know what it does. But I did discover Aivitas, and Aivitas is the creation one. Being exposed to focus light of this constellation will flower and plant nearby to flourish and greatly increase their bounty. So if I was to attune myself to Aivitas, whenever I was near my plants, I would naturally help them grow. Now, what's the other one? Visio. Visio. Bathing in the rays of this constellation makes everything feel slower while seeming to make you faster in whatever you do. So I think that makes us fa move faster permanently. Ooh, mental of the star. This attunement eases the burden of travel by reducing your weight enough to ride the current of the winds, allowing you to fly like one would with an elytra. So this infused with Visio would make it fly. You know what? Let me just come back. 
Where's the other one? The Avitas? Right here. This could infuse the mental of the star with an aura of healing. Ooh, which means that if I get hurt, this would heal me. And do you see on the ground? Do you see how when we're using the attunement altar right here? Oh, sorry. When we are using the attunement altar, I can't click it. There's no GUI. Gu uh, GUI. But when you look at... Uh, let's use this one. When you look at this, it shows you what to do. So basically, do you see these? The pattern on it? It's the spectral relay. As you start the attunement, some place will go glow blue. And you have to put a spectral relay where it tells you. And once all of the spectral relay are placed down... Uh, let me go back to my book. Constellation Avitas. So look at this. One, two, three, four. Oh, not this one, sorry. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's basically by putting on the pedestal, we'll be able to craft and infuse the mental of the star. Mental of the star has to be infused itself first. Uh, someone was talking about making an armor. So if I discover the under constellation, I, I want to see if there's one constellation that's better than just giving me healing, something that makes me either indestructible or really hurt hard. And I might want to put that one on an armor. So I'm really thinking about doing that. So next episode, we're going to continue with embers and things are going to start getting complicated. But I'm hoping to get ember done in two or three episodes. But I'm going to go in a small time lapse because in that small time lapse, what I'd like to do is one, a little bit of cleanup around the base because I need it. And two, I want to just go around at these chicken and make sure that they're still breeding and doing whatever they need just because I started them. So I don't see why I wouldn't continue them. So I'm going to end right here where you get to see all of my progression and the completion of this astral tome. I'm going to go in a very small time lapse, clean up my base, everything, the chicken, and that's going to be it. Next episode, embers. Guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now!